Now, we all love our cell phones, and that is a challenge for cell phone companies that have to provide good service and be good neighbors. Early show correspondent Debbie Turner is here to show us how they're doing it. Good morning, Debbie. <laughs> good morning to you. Here's the cold hard fact. People want to use their phones whenever and wherever they choose, but many communities feel that cell phone towers are just plain ugly. So some wireless providers are becoming masters of disguise. Have you ever been driving along the highway and noticed a rather odd looking tree sticking up above the rest? What kind of tree do you think that is? It's a pine tree. It's a pine tree? It looks like it anyway. It's not a tree. What do you think it is? I think it's disguised as a tree. It should have more leaves coming down further, uh -huh. like a real evergreen tree. Uh -huh. What you're looking at is actually a cell phone tower. Many communities have decided that this is easier on the eyes than one of these. No one really wants that visual pollution. There are certain cities that now have required all the new towers that are being built to be disguised. Andrew Messing is the president of Larson Camouflage, a company that builds cell phone towers in a wide variety of disguises, from palm trees to water towers to flagpoles. This is one of our saguaro cacti that's going up to the Phoenix area, and the antennas are concealed inside. They're extremely realistic. People drive by them all the time, and they think they're real cacti. Cell antennas are also being hidden inside all kinds of architecture, like clock towers and fake chimneys. The site very much dictates how the tower will be disguised. We've done some grain silos in the Midwest because it would look funny to have a 150-foot tall pine tree. And every antenna comes with electrical equipment, which also must be hidden. In this Colorado site, it's encased in a man-made boulder. And in Arlington, Virginia, this house has the neighborhood fooled. Door-to-door -door salesmen visit this house. Free newspapers are dropped off at this house. John Johnson works for Verizon Wireless, which built a house where no one is ever home. The inside is filled with the equipment needed to operate a traditional tower that sits in the backyard. Why do you have, really, a very nice-looking house as a housing for electronics? Well, if you look around, this is a very nice neighborhood. We wanted to be able to blend into the neighborhood and, and uh, not create something uh, that would be unwelcome. But disguises are expensive. A tree like this can cost as much as $120,000, four times the price of a metal tower. Now, do you camouflage all your cell phone towers? If we did, you probably couldn't afford your cell phone service. But we do camouflage those ones that we need to. And the ones they feel they need to disguise are often in communities that put up a fight and refuse to accept a traditional tower. Of the approximately 200,000 cell antenna sites in the U.S., only about a fourth are camouflaged or hidden. Here we're at the tennis stadium, and we've disguised our cell site to look uh, very much like one of the light poles that illuminates the stadium here. But for many churches, the wireless problem is a blessing. This Washington congregation receives more than $1,000 a month to allow antennas to operate in their steeple. It's sort of serendipity that we came to have this, and so I think a lot of churches would like to have it. But of all the disguises we've seen, our favorite is this site in Staten Island, a cell phone tower made to look like a lighthouse. And it's so realistic that neighbors say it attracts tourists. They do take photos, have people that do come up, um, they look at it. The only giveaway is that it's miles from the ocean. It's much nicer than what it could be. I mean, wouldn't, would you like that instead of antennas just showing up? Oh, it's beautiful. It's outright beautiful. And you guys, you know what, with text messaging and video streaming on the rise, wireless companies will continue to be very busy building more towers. And if they do it the way they hope to do it, you won't even notice them. So is it only the new towers that are going up that look so pretty? It's not like they're taking old existing. Yes, they're not retrofitting older ones. Usually they're putting up towers in communities, neighborhoods, national parks, where people don't want to see a big metal pole, so they're disguised. But they want their service. But they want their service. <laughs> All right, it's sort of the catch-22. All right, Debbie Turner, thanks so much.